I'm with uh, Emma Norris at the RSA, and uh, Emma's Associate Director of the Connected Communities uh, Project at RSA, which has done a lot of work in the past of mapping the social connections between people in a neighbourhood, but more recently has also been looking at the connections that business can have and the benefits that it brings. Tell me a bit more about that, Emma. Thanks, David. Um, we're particularly interested at the moment in the role that business can play in supporting local communities and local people. Um, I think that the role of business has come onto the agenda in a big way in the last six months. We've heard uh, Ed Miliband talk about the difference between predatory business and uh, businesses that produce something. David Cameron just last week was talking about the role of responsible businesses in the community. Um, but we think that so far, the idea of ethical or responsible business has tended to focus on corporate social responsibility in the boardroom. It's tended to be focused at a strategic level. And we think there's a real gap uh, when it comes to corporate social responsibility and ethical business um, in communities. Uh, how can businesses behave in responsible, enriching ways in the communities in which their, their stores, if they're a retail outfit, um, are based? And so we've been working in the last year or so with B&Q, uh, both at their headquarters and in Sutton, where one of their stores are based, to think about how a store like B&Q might play a stronger role in supporting the local community in which it's based. And um, you found, I think, from that research that uh, people met each other quite substantially. So uh, supermarkets, big stores like B&Q, are the bumping up places in the community. That's right. There were some really interesting findings in the research. Uh, I mean, the most important thing we found is that in Sutton, uh, the B&Q store was one of the few places that people from different backgrounds in the local area actually met and spent time together. They socialised together. So that's clearly really important. That B&Q store is a hub for local people to come together um, and to potentially create stronger local networks, a stronger local community, and we need to build on that. Um, I, we didn't just find that uh, the store is, is good for the community. We also found uh, that taking a more kind of networked, supportive approach would be good for, for B&Q as well, because, of course, businesses are um, interested in the bottom line. We found that uh, local people, if they, uh, if they thought that B&Q was... Uh, of responsible and supporting the local area were more likely to be loyal to B&Q uh, during a recession, were more likely to spend more money in the store. So, you know, we didn't just find that the B&Q store is a space for uh, people to come together in. We also found that if B&Q provides the space for them to come together and to support local areas, then those, those customers in turn are more likely to, uh, to support the local store. And is there scope for um, extending this approach, particularly in high streets, for example, where um, if um, smaller uh, uh, shops that might go under start to work together to promote themselves, to build customer mm -hmm. loyalty, to figure out how to make the whole place attractive, then they're more likely to survive together? Definitely. I mean, the work that we did with B&Q we see is really just a case study of what's possible. Um, and we think that our approach um, is equally valuable for local stores, independent stores, as it is for kind of big multinational retail chains. And what we've done is come up with something called the community footprint, which is uh, the community footprint is a way of stores, big or small, um, measuring what impact they have on local areas at the moment, how connected they are, how much they support local people, um, and also if they're having any negative impacts on the local area. And then it helps them put together a kind of action plan for how they might move forward, how they might try and work more closely with local charities and with local people, um, and how they might try and make themselves a real hub for the community in the broadest sense, not just creating commercial value, but also creating broader social value for local places. So it sounds if you've got some ways of putting some numbers on this, this should be more attractive for people, because otherwise you'll get, well, that sounds like a great idea, but should I really bother? So mm -hmm. you think you might overcome the why bother factor here? I, I mean, we definitely think so. This isn't just a... Uh, this isn't just a PR exercise for business. We think it'll have strong re results for local communities and strong results for business. Um, if businesses actually take notice of the communities that they're based in, if they actually try and support those communities and work directly with local people to perhaps build their skills. Um, one of the recommendations we make to B&Q, for instance, is that for particularly loyal customers who have an interest in doing something in the community, B&Q might provide a small sparks fund, might provide small amounts of funding to local people who are interested in um, setting up a, a local project and we found that for businesses who are willing to 
be pioneering in this way, to, who are willing to kind of give something back in a concrete, tangible way to local areas, they will feel the benefits. Um, people will spend more in their stores and customers will stay loyal to them in hard times. And I mean, what could businesses want uh, more than that? And just finally, is this somewhere that the RSA fellows could get involved? We've got thousands of uh, members, fellows around the um, country, many of them much involved, obviously, in, in their uh, local community and uh, sort of running businesses. So if they would come together and say, hey, can we promote this? That's something you'd be interested in. That's something we'd be really interested in. I mean, we've just finished our piece of work with B&Q, and now we're keen to try and start looking at the community footprint and the impact it can have on a much kind of wider geographical basis. And so if uh, there are local fellows who have an interest in this work, either as business people or as active members of their local community, we'd be really interested in hearing from them.